What up, Tube, and welcome back to another tutorial by Big Al's Barber Channel. What we're going to do on this, gentlemen, guys, is we are going to do a regular haircut. So, what this gentleman came in and he said that last time I cut his hair, I did a good job on it. It was uh, it grew up well proportioned, but he wanted basically the same look again. So what we did the first time is we just basically just tapered him down. He had a lot of bulk on the side, a lot of bulk on top. He likes the long hair. So what I'm going to do basically is I'm going to do it one side at a time and then we're going to do one side, the other side, and then we're going to do the back side and connect it all together. So what I'm starting off here quickly is I'm starting off with my number seven clip, number seven. And, and as you can see, I'm just barely basically going on right off the sides. And what I'm doing is I'm combing down where the part because there, there is no part. He basically what he's doing is he's combing it all back and uh, there's no part. So what I want to do is just make sure that that side lays down nice and flat and then going right off the edges. Just basically skating right off the edges, not going too much into the Corrado Ridge, which is the ridge, where it, which is a side where it bends in. So uh, we're, we're just basically going off the side. Going with our number seven clip first, number seven. And the machine that I'm using, I'm using the the 1919 wall 1919. Uh, so right there, what I did now is I swapped over to my number six clip. And first, what I did is I went with my number seven. Uh, and now I'm going with my number six. When we're doing the number system, we're just going downward on the way down. And, and a lot of a lot of ways, guys, and a lot of times, it, um, if you guys are just starting off cutting hair. And, you know, you might think that this is the hardest haircut, but this is the easy, easiest haircut because all you do is just doing steps. So remember, we went with the number seven first, then we went with a number six. Now, some people do this throughout the whole head. They, they'll be cutting from one side to the other side, going all the way around the head. Me, myself, I mean, sometimes I do that. Sometimes I don't. It just depends on my mood. But for videotaping purposes, uh, uh, what I did decided to do on this is I did it in three sections. So it makes it easier for me as far as videotaping instead of going all the way around the head. So that's why I'm doing it in this way. But, you know, a lot of times normally, and as you, if you guys follow my videos, you already know that I always fade in sections anyway. I fade the right side, the back side, and then the other side, and we all connect it all together. Again, guys, you already know that I film my, I do my tutorials in real time so that you can see how actually long it takes me to do these haircuts. And this haircut right here took me about 20, about 22 minutes. Uh, it was pretty quick, pretty easy. So after I went with my number six, now what I'm doing is I'm going with my number five. And again, not going as high. First, we went with our number seven. Oh, actually, this is the number four now. We are we're already down to the number four. So we started off with our, our, our seven, six, five. Now we're at the number four. And basically just going tapering down, not going as high as you did with the other clip. Just keep keep uh, uh, lowering your, 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 your taper down a little bit lower. So now that we went with our number four, now I'm going to go with my metal three. Because remember, all, this, all the numbers blend into each other. So we went with our number seven, six, five. Now we're down to our number four. Now we're at the metal clip. Metal clip is now, this is the metal three and a half. So three and a half blends into the number four. As you can see, they're all blending right in. And basically what you're doing is you're tapering it down. You're just making the edges shorter than you are on the top. So that it all, you know, when it grows out, it's gonna all grow out proportion. Now that's a trick of, of doing these haircuts is you want the hair to grow back down proportion. So once I went with number three, I noticed there was a little bit of bulk right there. A little bit of darkness so what I decided to do is just come in and do a little bit of clipper over comb to lighten it up a little bit to blend it all in this is pretty much all that it, this is this haircut consists of as you can see this side's already done I mean all, all that's left really is lining it up and cleaning it up a little bit so remember we started with our number seven Corrado Ridge went with the number six number five number four now we're down to a three and a half and the three and a half we're just cleaning up the edges just making the edges lighter than the others so now that we're done with our our tapers uh we went with our number seven six five four down to a three and a half metal so now we're going to pull out our gtx skeletalized trimmer and we're just going to basically line them up line up one side uh, what I start off with is the sideburn. Then I went around the ear. Now I'm coming around the back side of the ear, and I'm just gonna make that straight line on the back. 
And the way he wanted the back, he wanted the back round. So at the end, you're gonna see I'm gonna round out the edges once we get to the back. But right here, you can see the sides already pretty much done. Not a short haircut at all. Not no, not compared to the most haircuts that I do at my shop. Most of my haircuts at my shop, I would say 85% of my haircuts at my shop are either fades or tapers. So it's not every day that I get to do a, a regular haircut like this. So right there you see, look, you see how the hair is kind of falling over on the side. So what I do is I grab a clip and I, I, I and I pull that the top over because the top is just going to be a slight trim. So we're just going to uh, uh, basically cut off the split ends. So um, I just pull that hair over so it doesn't uh, uh, interfere while I'm going in right here. Now again, I'm going to go in with my number seven and I'm just going to clean up the top real quick. Just just real, real quick. Just making taking off the bulk. Remember, we already did the other side, so we're gonna come and do this side, and then we're gonna connect the back together. And I'm just going right off the edge. Right off the edge right there, just going right off the edge, you know, and taking off all the bulk. And right there, you can see where the part was, it was real bulky. So that's basically where you want to eliminate most of the bulk because you don't want that to be real thick. At least I don't. That, that's the way I, I, I always cut. So right there, now I took off my clip. I'm going with my number five real quick. And, and uh, I'm just going to step below that. that. Number six, actually. And I'm just going to go a step below that. Just a little bit lower than I did with the other one. Not as high. And uh, you can see right there, I'm kind of just traveling up the back side too so making sure that that everything's nice and even so that way when i get to the back i'm not distracted with the too much bulk back there now we're going to put the number five on real quick and then uh we go the same thing you know it, it, it's it's it, it's the same concept guys when you're doing this haircut you just gotta be um you, you gotta move quickly, you know. You 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 can't get stuck on spots. You you see bulk and, and look. We went with a seven, we went with a six. Now here we're with a number five, and basically the same thing. We're just doing steps. You'll see it gradually blending into itself, and then you'll see that the edges are what looks more uh, raggedy now because the the edges are still too thick. So a five for the edges or the bottom of the hair is just, it's too long, you know. So we're gonna bring that down. So right here now we're gonna go with a number four. So we went with a seven, the six, the five. Now we're down to the four. Again, the four. We're just, you know, going up the same, same, same spots, but not going as high. And at the same time, I have my comb right there. I always have my comb in my hand so I could comb it down and I could see exactly what what, what needs to be cut. So always comb it down. A regular haircut, guys. At my shop, we charge $2 less for this type of haircut. It's only because it's less work than having a taper to a zero or doing a zero fade. So um, at my shop, we charge 20 bucks for this haircut. So right here now, we're going with the number four again. Just cleaning it up, cleaning up the edges, making sure I saw some bulk right there behind the ear. So I move the ear out of the way, get it all nice and even. Once I'm done with my number four, now I'm gonna come back in again with my with my octane, Oster Octane with a three and a half metal blade. Three and a half metal blade. And you can see it just blends right in. The three and a half blends into the number four. So we went with a seven, a six, five, four. Now we're with three and a half. And you can see that the taper is starting to take shape right there you see how i move the ear i turn my machine sideways and i go right up the edge that way those those edges look nice and tight nice and clean you don't want the edges to look too uh too 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 strong so now we're coming in right here with our again with our uh skeletalized trimmer turn it around go around the ear very simple very easy very quick guys simple haircut come down the back side of the neck now we have both sides done Now what I usually do right here is I'll start, I'll do the back. Um, I'll do the back and then I'll, once I'm done with that, then I'll start working on the, I'll work on the top, you know? Um, like I said, it's just a quick haircut, guys. Just a cleanup, basically. Um, basically, when he came in, that's exactly what he asked for. He asked me, uh, can you do a cleanup on me? I just, I want to keep the bulk on the sides. I don't want it too short, but I want it to, to all blend into the top. Right there, I'm going back with my number three. 
Number three, plastic clip. And basically, again, the you know, little bulk between the three and a half and the four. Uh, you want that to blend in right there where the sideburn is. So I'm just kind of taking it up and, and, and uh, just making sure that, that, that it looked good. So you can see the back now. The back needs a little bit of work. The two sides are done. So what I'm starting off with is uh, since I was already kind of hitting the back, the back, the back top looks good. So what I'm doing is starting off with my number four. And with the number four, I'm just going up the side, the back side of the neck or the nape. If you want some people call it the nape and we're just going with a four first and you can see we're going maybe halfway up the side of where uh, halfway up on the side of the ears so right here since we're doing steps already we're going to continue with the steps and what we're going to do is we're going to go and come in now with a plastic three clip a plastic three uh, and, and you know we went with the number four first so now we're going with the number three and the reason why I'm using the plastic clip here is just to get it a little bit closer that way when I come in with a with a metal three and a half uh, it, it, it'll just blend right in because remember guys a plastic three is still longer than a metal three and a half a three and a half is still tighter than a plastic three keep that in mind that's why we have metal clips metal clips are a little bit tighter so now I'm coming in with my number three here, three and a half, three and a half Oster. There is no number three Oster in case you guys don't know that, it skips. There's a three and a half, then it goes to a number two. So right there, we're just basically just blending it up, guys. Just blending it up. It's all pretty much already blended up. Um, so we went with our four first, three and a half. And now we're going to just line them all up. What I do is square it off first. Square it off and then I confirm with the customer that uh, he wants a, 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 a rounded corner. So, you know, we just take out the corners. And round it out a little bit for him. It's just a, this is just a nice, clean haircut, guys. Nothing fancy. Uh, it's not a zero, so, you know. But the, the beauty of this haircut is that when it grows out, it's gonna all grow out proportioned, you know? And and that's the reason why you do tapers, and that's why you do do taper up the hair in the back, is because when it grows out, you don't want it to all grow out in different sizes, you know? You want it to grow out proportioned. This is a pretty bad camera angle right here. It looks really, looks like I have it crooked, but I know that it wasn't crooked. Uh, you know, it, sometimes the camera's deceiving a little bit, but um, you know, it, it's basically just lining them up, squaring it out. Once you square out, then you take out the sides, take out the little edges and line it all up. Make sure that it looks, uh, that it looks nice, you know? The taper looks clean, looks lighter on the edges. That's what you want, bulkier on the back. Remember, the sides are nice, number seven and a six. So basically what we did all the way around the head was a seven, a six, five, four, then down to a three. Three and a half, metal three and a half. We didn't go no lower than a metal three and a half. Real simple. Now what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna cut the top and on top, you know, he said he likes it long. He didn't wanna take too much off. He just basically wanted a slight trim. So what I'm gonna do, when a person tells me they don't want too much off the top, the top looks good. Um, basically what I tell them to is, let's just cut the, the tips off. We'll cut off the split ends. That way the hair uh, will stay more vibrant and it'll grow out better. So we're just basically, that's what we're gonna do here. We're just gonna take off the tips. I'm gonna start off. No, sometimes on this, on this, what I would do is part it down the middle and start on one side. But since just this is a tips, what I decided just basically just pull it up, pull it up, pull my first guide out, and I'm just gonna cut out the split ends. And you can see that I'm just basically just not, I'm not cutting very much at all. Just basically cutting the split ends. You can already see that the haircut's taking shape. Start off on one side right there. Now I move over. And uh, and the way I do it is like I told you, we could I could have parted it and started in the middle, and then, but basically that's what I do. But I do it sometimes without parting. Like this right here was just the split ends. So basically what I'm doing is pulling it up, pulling out the split ends and just cutting it and letting it all fly back, or lay back down. Once I did that, I'm now I'm going to the other side of the head. Same thing, just pull out the split ends, cut it. Maybe a quarter to a half inch, maybe I cut off of him. 
if that. But on top, his hair was long. His hair was probably like a two to three inches. It was a uh, relatively long. Add a lot more water. See that, guys? Well, when I do scissor cuts, guys, I always use water. It's just me. I don't know why uh, the, the, the hair has to be drenched. Uh, that's just the way I was taught, and it's the way I learned. So right there, I'm just checking it, pulling it out, making sure that uh, there's hairs that aren't longer than the others. Right there, I'm answering the phone. You know, I, I film these videos, guys, at work, during work. Uh, these are paying customers. These aren't customers that are uh, free models or nothing like that. Uh, I don't have it like that yet. So I usually ask my, my customers, do you mind if I uh, put you on, on tape doing a tutorial? And most customers, the younger customers especially, they're, they're always down. They, they, they don't mind being on social media. So I appreciate my customers for allowing me to, to, to film them. So what, what I did right there is I went from front to back. And now I'm just kind of, what I like to do is I, I double check my work and I go from side to side. And, uh, and when you go from side to side, what you're doing is checkering the hair on top. And you'll be able to see if you missed any cuts going from front to back. So always, I always just double check my haircuts and uh, just go from front to back front to back and then side to side so right there i could tell hair's laying down nice there's no steps there's no nothing um haircut's pretty much done guys that's all this haircut is it's a basic cleanup regular haircut that's what we call it in here in the united states we call it a regular i might and in my in my city this is called a regular this is a simple haircut so what I'm gonna do now, guys, is he asked me to thin the top up a little bit, just the sides, because uh, they felt like they were real bulky. So what I'm doing right here is I'm just coming in with my thinning shears and uh, around the carotid ridge, the, I noticed a little bit of bulk that might not have blended in perfectly from going from the machine to the scissors. So what I do is I just pull up those edges and, and, um, and I thin them out. So they just blend right in. And this is just a regular thinning, barber thinning comb. And you know, just uh, just around the edges, just to make it so that around the Corrado Ridge, it doesn't seem bulkier and, and it makes them look more big headed. So I'm, you know, I'll, I'll finish it off with a little bit of thinning shears. So at this point right here, guys, the haircut's pretty much done. I mean, there's not much more to it. Uh, what I'm gonna do now is I do, at this point, what I do is I'll do a little bit of detail work for the haircut and uh, just clean it up. I'm gonna go back, clean up the neck, make sure that uh, my neck is nice and round, make sure that the corners are round. Uh, right here, I noticed a little bit of bulk around the nape, around the back side of the head. So I'm just going right here, going with my five. Because remember, we went with the five. We started it off with a seven, six, five, four, and then the three and a half. So what I did is I went with the five first, just in the middle. And now I'm going with the number four, just working on my blend a little bit in the back, making sure that, that it looks nice. Got a better camera angle here so I could explain it to you guys a little bit better. But, you know, right there I noticed there was a little bit of a darker spot. So, uh, this is my, fi my, final, my final view, my final uh, inspection of the haircut. As always, I try to finish my haircuts off with a little bit of detail work. I'll go back and do a little bit of clip over comb. Since this was a taper, I'm just going in with my, my, my first I went in with my five, now I'm in with my four, now I'm in with my three. And, and just making sure that I got a nice tight blend in the back because you know this that's what it's all about you want that neck to look nice and tight just working on see i noticed that there was a little bit off on the roundness of the of the neck right there in real time remember guys in real time this haircut took me about 22 minutes um and my on my schedule i allot myself 30 minutes for most haircuts especially regulars uh i i could finish them pretty quick so um but it was uh this was a pretty simple haircut so right here now 
as always guys and i always I, I explain this to you guys it's important that you guys do this part of the haircut guys if you guys are going to do if you're going to be a barber you need to start using a straight razor and, and any regular haircut at my shop any any taper at my shop gets finished off with a straight razor and hot lather this is hot lather that i'm putting on him from a hot lather machine and if you guys don't know the feeling of having hot lather on your neck you need to find this out because this is what you need to be doing for your customers right here this is what sets you apart from everybody else this is where they're going to consider you an old school barber or, or a new school barber because new school barbers don't even like using straight razors but right here always always finish your haircut off with hot lather and a straight razor because you know what these young cats these days they need to know what it feels like to have that hot lather on their neck felt they need to know what it feels like to have a straight razor on their on their skin you know every man in this world should receive a, a hot towel shave at one time or another in their life i tell that to all my customers you know just try to encourage them to get one because it, you know it's important it's part of growing up you know it's part of going to the barber shop so right here the haircut is done uh, I already cleaned them up and and you saw that right there. I, it took me five minutes to do that and, and get them all prepped up And that right there guys is a look you want your customers to have when they're done in their chair You know you want them to be content happy with a little smell some smell good on him uh, You know these guys come on these guys drive almost 40 miles to come to my shop to get a haircut So, you know when they come in you want to get it hooked up Hey guys, I appreciate you guys watching these videos again. If you guys have any questions, leave them below. Make sure you subscribe, click that bell button so every time I drop a new video, you guys know about it. I'm coming out with a lot of content. I'm no, I'm going nowhere. So I'll see you guys on the next video. Grind on. Lates.